welcome back to my channel so I'm bringing you a makeup tutorial today I actually was inspired by my nails to be completely honest <laughs> I want to be doing I want to be doing I'm gonna be doing um, pretty much a makeup look that is neutral all over the face and then just a really cute pop of color which is gonna be this like highlighter green in the inner corners of my eyes so let's get started so for moisturizer, I'm going to be using the No Problem Primer by In Touch Soul, and it's a really, really nice primer. It has a nice consistency. This is a product that I actually got inside of like a BoxyCharm. If you guys don't know, it is a monthly subscription um, that actually sends you probably products that are usually about over $100 to $200 um, in one box. It's usually about four to five products, sometimes six if you're lucky. Alright, so now that I'm moisturized and kind of primed, I want to take it a step further. If you guys did not know, I usually prime with my Melody Mills. Uh, this is their, why well, can't I remember right now? Rose Gold. This is just like an all over a body radiance. It's actually supposed to be more of like a kind of shimmer for the skin, um, just to kind of bronze you up a bit. But I like to use it as a primer because it does fill in um, any of the areas because I do have large pores. So it kind of fills them up and just kind of makes everything glide on really, really smooth and give my foundation something to adhere to. So I appreciate that. Now, as you guys know, I am a NARS girl. I've been using NARS since I've been wearing makeup. And I'm actually using their Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. You guys can literally see I am at the bottom. And I use my NARS all the way until it's done. However, excuse me, <laughs> I do actually have a brand new bottle. But I'm not going to open it. I'm going to finish this one. And yeah, we'll go from there. So if you guys are wondering, I'm actually the color Tahoe. Um, I kind of go back and forth between Tahoe and Cadiz. I just usually put it on the back of my hands. You guys can see it matches me really, really well. And I'm just going to be taking a really fluffy brush. This is from Luxie, one of their tapered highlighter brushes. I just kind of want to lightly tap it into the skin. Tapping motion, so you kind of want to go in a circular, circular. <laughs> So yeah, so I'm just tapping it on the skin and you guys will actually notice that a little product goes an extremely long way. So once you kind of tap it in, you want to go in circular motion just to really work that product in. And I usually take the product across the tops of my lids because there's usually some discoloration there. I'm usually a little bit more red. Um, so I just want to even everything out. Even though I'm going to be applying eyeshadow, I just want to make sure that everything is completely even before I even get to that. You want to make sure to kind of get under the chin area and when you're washing your face you want to remember to wash those areas too you don't want to just moisturize well not moisturize but like deep cleanse your skin when you're taking your makeup off you want to also make sure that you're doing the up under this area right because if, especially if you're going to be putting makeup there you want to make sure that you don't end up with breakouts underneath your chin unnecessarily because you forgot to take it off so i'm just going back with the leftover product on the back of my hand and literally just kind of filling in any areas on my skin that were probably a little bit more problematic so usually i like to focus on this cheek area just to make sure that any large pores are completely filled that's like my biggest thing because i do have oily acne prone skin so i just always want to make sure that I am filled properly and I really need to stop picking in my skin I think that's the biggest thing that leaves scars it's like one of my biggest things but if you picking your skin comment below let me know <laughs> what do you do to stop have you stopped all right so now that I have a pretty much a flawless place I want to go flawless place <laughs> I actually want to go in to pretty much just do my brows I'm gonna do that really quickly um, if you guys didn't know my brows are microbladed so they're mostly done I'm gonna be going in with my Anastasia dip brow just to fill them in so I'm actually gonna be using their potted concealer this is actually in the color caramel or medium dark too you can actually use um, com something completely different Sorry, I'm like fidgeting around. But yeah, so you have two choices. I'm going to be using the potted version of the Radiant Concealer. This one is just a little bit more, it's like that soft matte complete concealer is what they call it. But it is a little bit of a thicker consistency. And so I really appreciate it on the brows in comparison to the stick, which I am going to be using throughout the <laughs> video. But um, yeah. So just with the concealer brush, this is just a normal Sephora brush that I'm going to be taking. Um, just a little bit of this product just to kind of fill it in or not really fill it in but carve it out because I really want to highlight these brows like I said this is optional it's not something that you absolutely have to do and so usually I'll do the top and the bottom but in this case I'm literally just gonna highlight the bottoms of the brow and with a fluffy blending brush it's just completely dry this is by uh, Mikasa Cosmetics, their E 
300 brush. I'm just going to be taking this. It's more like a soft blender brush uh, just to kind of blend this down. All right, so taking that same concealer, like I said, in the medium, I am going to be highlighting right up under the eye. All right, so now that I pretty much have that lightly highlighted or applied, I'm actually going to be taking the uh, Radiant Concealer. This is in the color Medium 1. So I actually have Medium 2 on. I'm going to take it up a step further, which is Medium 1, which is actually way too light for my skin. So I'm usually mixing it together in a very small amount just to kind of give me a little bit of glow right up under the eye. So I just apply a little bit because a little literally goes a long way. And then it's just going to blend together with the other shade that I have. So I'm going to be taking a completely clean precision foundation brush, which I think I use these brushes out of order. <laughs> but it's about the same as the same as the other brush that I use for the foundation. Anyway, going to be taking that just to pat this into the skin. And the motion that I'm using, I'm literally pressing the brush and doing small pats into the skin, like slowly moving down. I'm not really doing circular motions, but I'm literally just patting it into the skin. This is also going to help set pretty much that concealer into the foundation just to make sure that everything is completely blended and to kind of further soften up that pore if you do have larger pores. So this is just a part of that layering process. And as you can see, it's completely blended out. We have it rounded here on the edges as well. And then you wanna do the same thing down the bridge of the nose. You can just kind of literally blend that out. You can kind of bring it up into the forehead area just a little bit. And then you wanna do the same thing on this side. All right, so now that we are completely highlighted, I wanna take the time to go ahead and just set this. What I'm gonna be using to set this uh, foundation is actually the Translucent Locket Foundation by foundation <laughs> translucent powder by Kat Von D and so I've been having this for quite a while I've been using it for quite some time kind of stepped away from so many other powders just because this one really does the job and like I said I have oily skin so I'm literally putting that on a brush I'm not gonna be really carving my face out too too much nothing harsh at all because I'm gonna have such a strong pop of color um, but I'm just gonna literally take this underneath the eyes Set that first because of course we want to make sure that, that concealer does not move and it does not crease so I'm really just gonna take my time with setting that all right so to set the other areas of my face I'm actually gonna take the Fenty Beauty in the color honey just to set the outer perimeters of my face Now I'm actually gonna go ahead and apply just a teensy tiny bit of blush to my face. I'm gonna be using the Sigma blush in the color Cora Rosa, which is more of like a really soft blush pink color, just to add a little bit of like life into my face. So I'm gonna be doing this on a Morphe blush. This is just like blush brush. It's a blush brush. <laughs> and I'm just gonna be applying just a teensy tiny bit. I'm literally dipping into this. And it's really cute. It comes with like a compact mirror. Look at that cute anyway comes with the mirror so you can just apply it and like I said it's a really soft pink so that's what that looks like and I'm literally just gonna apply it to like the apples of my cheeks so when I say that I don't literally apply it to like here well you know the center but more towards the contours of my face is where I like to apply my brush everybody's different so if you don't want to apply it there definitely understand no pressure but um this is just what I do all right, so to softly kind of warm up my face, it's really actually pretty warm for the most part, but I'm gonna be taking the Black Radiance. Uh, this is their trio. It actually has a highlighter. Let me just show you. Highlighter, contour, and sculpting shape. I'm gonna be using the contour shade just to kind of deepen up the inner corners here or just to carve out this area and then around the edges of my face. So I'm still taking the same brush just to go ahead and kind of finish up the job. And so I like to apply it on one side of the brush and then I allow the brush to literally sit here and the contours of my face, can you see that? It's literally there and I just kind of fan it out and allow the product to do exactly what it's supposed to. So it's as natural as possible and literally following the contours of my face. You see the difference already? So you just tap, tap, tap it in the area you want it to go and then use the brush to just literally fan it back and forth. And then for the tops, I'm just literally gonna take whatever is left over. I don't really like for the top of my forehead to be too, too dark. It can kind of just look really unnatural. 
so I want to keep everything as natural as possible and I'm going to take the leftovers to go over the side of my nose I don't really enjoy like a really harsh contour but just a teeny tiny bit nothing too crazy Alright, so on to the shadows. For shadows, I'm going to be using a really cute palette that literally has everything you need. This is the Violet Ross Pro Palette. I really enjoy this palette. Not only does it come with an array of shadows that are named, of course, which is really easy for me, um, but it also comes with this huge mirror. So I really, really like that. You got some Timo window. <laughs> So I'm going to be using this really neutral shade, it's called Transition, just literally all over the lid and then kind of just bouncing this back and forth in between this crease area here because this is where I want to focus the most color right now. And I'm just using that same brush that I used to blend out my contour, not contour, I'm sorry, the same brush that I used to blend out my a concealer. Alright, so to deepen this up just a teeny tiny bit, I'm going to take the color Are You Kidding Me, literally with the same brush. Tapping this in the same area, just not as wild. I'm literally using that same motion that I use on my cheek to literally sit it in the crease and tap. And literally all that we're doing is just kind of building up color. So I'm going to be taking the color hashtag, which is a bit more on the uh, kind of orange side, just to kind of give me a little bit of more warmth. You guys know I really, really enjoy warm color, so I'm just going to kind of use this kind of blend a little bit more and my goal is just to really kind of keep this look light and fresh I don't want to take this too too dark so already I have this color here and this is actually where I'm gonna stop it I'm actually gonna be taking some concealer just to kind of do a cut crease look just to really matte out the eyes still have that background shade and then we'll have that pop so I'm taking my Mar my Mars <laughs> taking the NARS uh, concealer and just to go ahead and carve out this crease area And the way that I learned to find my crease is I literally just apply that concealer all over the lid in what I assume to be my crease spot. And then I literally tilt my head down and then up, down and then up. And you can literally see where that crease is supposed to start. So that is a trick that I learned and I'm literally just going to slowly use this brush just to kind of carve it out. It honestly does not have to be super perfect. And I'm being sure to pull that concealer even in the inner corner because this is where I'm going to apply that um, that really neon color. So I want it to be able to have something to adhere to also. So I'm going to be taking this a little bit down into this tear duct area. All right, then you, for the most part, want to look down for probably about five minutes because you really want to give this time to dry. So I'm looking down because it's hard to look up. <laughs> I'm going to let this dry and then I'll be right back. All right, so now that that is completely dry, it probably took about five minutes. And then, of course, um, I'm going to go in with a really neutral shade. It's called Thanks A Latte. <laughs> um, it's just a really nice neutral shade just to kind of add a little bit of color back to the lid. So I'm going to be mixing the color Bestie and Thanks A Latte to apply right to the tops of the lid. And you can even take that color, are you kidding me, down just a teensy tiny bit to kind of cut the color a little bit and just kind of blend the color of Thanks A Latte and Are You Kidding Me together. All right, so now that we're pretty much done with the base of the lid, we're gonna go ahead and add that pop of color. I'm gonna be using the Laura Lee Los Angeles palette. Y'all, I freaking love these colors that you get. This is literally the brightest palette I've probably ever had, just like to be so small. Um, from the blue to the orange, I'm gonna be using, obviously, this It's a Party color. Um, and so I'm actually, look at this, all these freaking palettes have mirrors. It's so perfect. I'm gonna be using another Morphe brush, just a really small brush to go in the inner corners. Just a small eyeshadow brush. And the only thing about these shadows is that they do kind of have some fallout on it. So you definitely want to make sure to tap, tap, tap so that all that doesn't fall into your eye. Because I wear contacts and that is annoying. And to kind of really make sure that that color pops, I'm actually going to take some of my Urban Decay All Nighter Spray just to lightly dampen my brush just a bit so that that color really adheres to the brush. Like I said, there is a little fallout. Nothing too, too crazy. But I definitely want to make sure that I'm getting the most out of the color. And right out of the gate, you guys can really see how bright and intense this color is. And you can kind of determine how much you want to apply. If you really just want it to be just a tad bit, you can. If you really want to kind of blow this out, you can. I think I'm going to stay somewhere between crazy and safe. 
I'm using like the back of the brush just to literally flick this color up into the more neutral shade just so that everything is completely blended out. And then of course I'm going to use a little mascara which is the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara um, just to kind of pop out my lashes a bit. I am going to be applying um, some falsies. For lip gloss I'm actually going to be using the Fenty Beauty Gloss which of course is in the color Fenty Glow. So this is like the first one that came out. Still my favorite. It literally matches my lip color, color to a T. So I'm just going to use that to kind of gloss. And just to kind of take some of the pink out of this color, I'm actually going to be mixing it with the Kat Von D. This is just a, what color is this? Bow and Arrow. This is just like a liquid lipstick. And it's really, really neutral. So just a teeny tiny bit. Perfect. And I'm going to go ahead and pop on lashes. All right, so the lashes that I'm going to be wearing is actually from a company called Eye Candy Lashes. This is what the packaging looks like. Really cute and simple, straight to the point. It's like a little compact. So literally it opens up just like this. The name of the lashes are here. And then, of course, you just open it up this way. Another freaking mirror, y'all. If you can't tell, I'm obsessed with this whole compact mirror thing. And then you get your lashes. So here they are. And then she has like her cute little like logo there. But... Nevertheless, I'll leave the details to how to get these lashes in my description box below. So definitely make sure to check that out. Check her out on Instagram and things like that. Alright, so these are the Pixie Lashes. You guys, they look so good. And I'm usually not a fan of like a thicker band lash. But this, cute. Look at them. Bam. So I'm actually going to go in with a little bit of the Kat Von D Transition Powder. Just to touch up any areas that I feel like got a little bit kind of oily there. Which... Honestly, for the most part, is not. I think I'm just being paranoid. <laughs> but anyway, just going back in, just kind of touching that up just a bit. All right, so boom, there we are. We already have the lips done. We got the face done. We got eyes done. Everything. All I want to do, just pretty much finish this off, is go ahead and set my face with the Kat Von D. Is this Kat Von D? Actually, this is Urban Decay All Night Setting Spray. So just like two squirts or six. Boom, y'all, I freaking love this look. And guess what I did not use? A highlighter. But you know what? I'm going to use one. I really am. So what I have today is the Cover Fix Highlighter Palette. It's actually like a highlighter and contour palette. And guess what, y'all? I have another freaking compact mirror. Y'all, I have mirrors for days. Like, come on. I got mirrors for days. Hey, I got mirrors for days. Anyway, it comes with a blush. I'm not going to use a blush, obviously. Finishing powder, I don't need because I don't know what that finishing on me. Like, what is that going to be finished? I don't know. Maybe like to highlight up under this area. I'll probably use it one day. What I'm going to use right now is the highlighter palette. Um, well, the highlighter shade here is not really like, what color is this? Oh, y'all, on the back of this, it actually tells you the color. So this is the color Divine and Starlight. I'm going to be mixing the two highlighters. One is more of a bronzy shade. The other is more on the pinky shade. I don't know if you can kind of tell. But I'm going to be using that on a really fluffy brush. This is a Morphe blush. You see how it's like a Morphe blush. Morphe brush. You see how it's kind of like pointed a little bit so this is perfect for those points and I'm gonna literally mix the two shades together and it's a really really soft highlight. When I say soft it's extremely soft. You don't have to go overboard with it. You see that? And it's like the powder is so fine that it does not look like chunky glitter on the skin at all. Alright boom. So if you want to take it up a notch you can totally apply a little bit of that on this bone here. And y'all, we got a beat face. Okay. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. This is literally it, y'all. My hair is doing something interesting. I'm actually going to be having a video come up, which is basically to show you how to straighten your hair. So, this is from a company called Recool Hair. Literally, this is not what this video is about, so we're not even going to talk about it. So, I'm literally just going to put this back up and shut up. Anyway, I love you guys so much. Stay pretty. Leave any comments or questions down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this nice, spring, glowy, fresh face, full cover tutorial. I will see you guys in my next video. Definitely make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe. Share with a friend. Make sure to follow me on Instagram. That's where you kind of get more details about my life. Get in my business. Anyway, again, I love you guys so much. Stay pretty. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, babes. Mm -hmm.